dear students today we are going to learn about orthographic projections by using this 3d object and we'll be converting into two dimensional view front view top view and left hand side view in this particular video i'll be explaining only left hand side view i have given few commands before this drawing that is units limits rectangle layers i have given few layers over here you can refer my previous videos links will be shared in the description area for giving all those commands let's start with our left hand side view now left hand side view will be visible from this end since the direction of observer is given over here and from this we will be able to see the front view so in the left hand side view we will be, will be able to see this as a circular part so for this circular part we need two center lines so first center line will be at the height of 35 so I'm copying this line at a distance of 35 because the radius of the outer circle is 35 so this center line will be at a distance of 35 from the top end similarly we need one more center line over here that is supposed to be at a distance of 50 from either end because this center line is dividing the entire object into two equal parts and that will be equals to 50 distance of 50 because the semicircle over here the semi cylindrical cavity is of the radius 50 and dividing the entire object into equal parts so we'll be copying this line at a distance of 50 to get our another center line at the same time at the same time we want this both the center lines to be of center line not a continuous projection line so we'll be converting this into center line i have given layers earlier which you can refer in the previous videos next we are supposed to draw two circles over here so let me use the command of circle that is draw circle center comma radius this intersecting point will be the center point and this much will be the radius okay we need to convert this into visible edge since it is visible part and further again we'll keep our visible edge layer on we can draw one more circle with the diameter 40 that is for the inner part over here which is hollow for this again draw circle center comma radius center point and then distance equals to 20 that means radius equals to 20 again my layer was not on so let me convert it into visible edge and let me convert my layer over here visible edge okay so next we can draw a base plate of 100 by 20 because this is the semi cylindrical part which is visible as a rectangle from the left hand side view from the left hand side view and the height of the semi cylindrical part is 20 so that will be placed over here and for the entire width of 100 so let's give the command of line we'll start from here at a distance of 100 then at a height of 20 then again 100 on this side then 20 on the down side so this will make your rectangle for this particular semi cylindrical part any cylindrical object will be visible as a circle from one view and a rectangle from remaining two views so this semi cylindrical part will be visible as a circular part from the top view and from the left hand side view a circle next we have this cylindrical object at a height of 15 and for the height of 15 and diameter 50 that is to be placed over here now multiple ways are there to draw it one of the way is i can copy this center line at a distance of 25 25 on each side to give it as a diameter 50 like this and later on we'll convert this both the lines into visible edges okay then further what we want is we want the height of 15 
So what you can do is you can copy this line at a height of 15 like this and you can trim the unwanted area that unwanted line so tr double space so i'll be removing this part i'll be removing this part same over here from over here uh oh my mistake so let me extend this okay I'll be removing this to keep it as a single line. Okay. Now, further, we have still done extra lines over here which we need to remove. So, we'll be removing all the lines. For representing our rib at a distance of 6, 6 on each side of the center line. So, again, what you can do is 6 on this side. So, let me give the command of line from the, this point. I'll be giving a distance of 6 like this, and you can draw a line like this. See, since your auto is on and O snap is also on, if you bring it nearer to this, it will take over you. If you click over here, if you try to click over here, it will uh, convert line line over here like this. See, if I click over here, it will draw it like this. But we want a straight vertical line. So what we are supposed to do is we'll give the command of line. We'll start from here at a distance of six, and we'll draw with an extra line over here. Then we can copy this line at a distance of twelve on this side. Okay, and we can trim the unwanted lines, extra lines, like this. Okay, so next is two more ink line edges are there, one over here, one over here. These are starting from this base plate, the top of the base plate, and merging smoothly into the cylinder. So we will be drawing those two lines over here, starting from this and the tangent to the cylinder since it is merging smoothly into the cylinder like this okay so let's move on to the hidden lines now uh, this cylindrical object have a, a circular hole or a cylindrical cavity inside for which the diameter given as 32 so we want our two hidden lines over here the depth of the cylinder is not given to us so, for that we will take as a full depth that is of 15 over here and 20 at the base plate 35. So now what you can do is, you can convert your visible edge to hidden edges and you can take a line from this center line to 16 on this side since the diameter is 32, diameter is 32, so 16 on this side, then 35 over here then 32 over here and again 35 over here out of this all lines we don't want this line to be there so we'll be removing this line similarly we have one more extra line over here we'll be removing that line also and we can convert the line type scale for this that we'll do later on next we have two more hidden edges see we have drawn this uh, vertical line for this rib Behind this rib, we have one more edge over here, which is being overlapped behind this rib. But what after the rib is over, so still we have this edge for the height of 15 over here, which is supposed to be drawn hidden. So let me draw hidden line, make sure your hidden edge is on, like this. Then next, again we need to draw it. So 
this will complete your side view. So we have drawn a rectangle for this, we have drawn rectangle for this, we have drawn rectangle for this, we have drawn circles for this, we have drawn this inclined edges, we have drawn this hidden edge and we have drawn hidden edge for this inner circle also. So this will complete your side view. Now we need to change the line type scale for this. So what you can do is you can double click on this, a dialog box will appear or you can select the line, you can go to modify, properties, you have an option of line type scale over here that you can switch to 0.25. In some uh, PCs or some software, the setting would be different. So in that case, you need to exaggerate by, you can say 10 to 15 or you need to reduce by 0.25 or 0.5 line type. Next, what you can do is, you want other lines to be of the same size, of the same line type scale. So again, modify, match properties, select source object and select now destination. Like this. If you are done, you can come out of the command. So this way you can complete your side view. In the next video lecture, we will see about top view. Thank you.